I'm telling you, this is the most confusing video on the internet. Wait, what is that? So I was wandering down a rabbit hole on YouTube and I came across this video series called Skibbity Toilet. So skibbity, skibbity what? Skibbity Toilet. Each upload is super disturbing, but it gets hundreds of millions of views. Okay, so what exactly is it? So listen, it all started in February of 2023 when a YouTuber uploaded the first episode. He created the videos just with Source File Maker and Blender. It was a meme where it follows a talking head that pops out of a toilet, but now it's evolving to have a storyline. <laughs> they gave a guy in a toilet more. So, one day, the talking toilet heads decided they were going to take over the world. They infected the entire human race, and all they left were these individuals with suits and camera heads. Now, each video is a war between the toilet heads and the camera heads. The camera heads always find a way to win, but the toilets keep coming back stronger and harder. Bro, what? So it's like an endless war? Well, they have introduced new characters like speaker heads, but even TV heads, which has caused some theories. They're saying that engineers in the future created the virus that turns humans into toilets and they accidentally sent it back into the past. They're now sending these non-human entities to stop them. So the skibbity toilets are good. Well, the skibbity toilets declared war against the whole planet. They caused pure destruction without caring who or what got hurt. They eventually took over and set up a police force. They harassed anyone that wasn't a toilet. But a group called the Alliance fought back. Yeah, those are the camera head guys. Yeah, so the cameramen were the first ones to step up and try and stop the skibbity toilets. But they weren't very strong. Every time they would defeat a wave of skibbity toilets, toilets, bigger and scarier toilets would show up. They eventually got so overwhelmed, they had to call for backup. Hey, who are they going to call? The Ghostbusters? Well, they called on their Titan, which was a giant cameraman that was specifically engineered to battle the skibbity toilets. At first, it was able to defeat the strongest toilets with ease, but that changed when G-Man, the leader of the toilets, showed up. Okay, so what happened? So, the Titan cameraman crushed two toilets in front of him. It caused him to get super angry. He started shooting lasers out of his eyes at the Titan. But, a rocket toilet suddenly appeared and crashed into the shield, causing so much damage that the Titan had to retreat. So the skibbity toilets won the war? Well, they were on the verge of winning, but a new species of heads joined the Alliance to fight alongside the cameramen. They're just like them, but they have speakers as heads. They are considered stronger because they can blast music from their heads that cooks up the skibbity toilets. But remember, the toilets always come back bigger and stronger. So wait, why wouldn't they send their biggest and strongest the first time? Well, think about it. All warfare is based on deception. If they send their strongest soldiers first, they'll be giving up their hand too soon. For example, when the speakerman showed up, a Titan speaker man also came with them. It's a giant speaker, but it has an arm cannon that basically made the skibbity toilets useless. The Alliance was back to winning the war. So what did the toilets do? Well, the skibbity toilets found a way to hit back harder. In episode 30, we've discovered something extremely shocking. The toilets captured two cameramen and held them hostage across from each other. A boss toilet suddenly came into the room and deployed a bioweapon on one of them. It was a skibbity toilet that was small and looked weak, but it had a unique ability. It infected one of the cameramen, which caused it to start attacking his friend. They then unleashed this bioweapon on the battlefield, infecting several Alliance members, including the Titan Speaker Man. So the Skibbity Toilets, they keep getting stronger, but yet they still lose? Well, remember, there's a theory that the virus came from the future. And to stop it, scientists from the future are sending these entities back. This actually makes sense because after the Titan Speaker Man was infected by the Skibbity Toilets, the Alliance got their hands on a weapon called the Disabler. This could heal the infected Alliance members, and their goal was to use it on the Titan Speaker Man. Well, did they do it? So, they attached the weapon to a laser tank and strolled it into battle. The Titan Speaker Man was atop a high-rise, surrounded by an army of skibbity toilets. They aimed the weapon at the Titan and fired a shot, but it failed. An upgraded version of G-Man suddenly appeared and blocked the shot, which destroyed the tank. Wait, where's the Titan cameraman? So the Alliance had a hidden laboratory. It was used as a shelter against the skibbity toilets. It's also a place where they conduct research, but even upgrade their soldiers. But 
it was taking too long to repair him. So they had to go in battle without him. Wait, why wouldn't they just wait? Well, they couldn't. The Titan Speaker Man was destroying everything. They had to stop him. But after the laser tank was destroyed, the Alliance lost all hope and nearly lost the war. This time they had heads that were TVs. So then who's the strongest in Skibbity Toilet? The strongest is the TV man. Wait, they even have TV heads? Yeah, remember after the Skibbity Toilets destroyed the laser tank, the TV men showed up. They're another species of hardware heads. They show up when the cameraman and speaker men need help. But the reason they're so strong is because of their unique abilities. They can hypnotize the Skibbity Toilets. This makes it so they can't fight back. So let me guess, they got a super TV. Bro, this isn't Sonic, but yes, it's called Titan TV Man. But he's much different from the others. During a battle with the Skibbity Toilets, three stereocopters came in and combined with the Titan. It upgraded it to an even stronger version called Cinema Man. Okay, so then how did the Skibbity Toilets respond? Well, listen, after the Cinema Man was created, the infected Titan Speaker Man showed up to battle him, but he quickly learned that was a bad idea. Cinema Man tore off one of his superstructures, causing him to retreat. He chased after him, but G-Man showed up along with some of his best fighters. They were able to bring down Cinema Man and try and infect him, but TV Man have the ability to teleport. The Cinema Man used this ability to escape before getting infected. Well, then who's the weakest in Skibbity Toilet? So it was the cameraman, but now it's gotten controversial. Dude, this is so dumb, like what do you mean? So the Alliance found themselves in trouble. The sirens were blaring, cameramen and speakermen were all fleeing. The Skibbity Toilets found their hidden laboratory and formed an all out attack on their base. Some of their strongest soldiers were present, causing massive damage, but even casualties. All hope was lost. It seemed like the Skibbity Toilets would breach the inner facility and win the war. But remember, someone always shows up to save the day. Let me guess, a Super Saiyan cameraman. No, so the Skibbity Toilets could taste victory on their toilet lips and started to sing their anthem. But it was interrupted by a flying sound that came overhead. The Titan cameraman joined the battle. So they fixed him. They did, but he's even better. He got several upgrades, making him more powerful than the Cinema Man. I can't follow that. So I thought the Cinema Man was the strongest. Oh, well, listen to these upgrades. His jetpack is better. His left forearm is now a railgun. He has a hammer that he can smash toilets with, and his armor is basically invincible. But he's even a Jedi now. He has a gravity gun installed in his arm. He soloed the entire Skibbity Toilet army that was attacking their base. Well, let's be honest, G-Man would still cook him up. When is this toilet war going to be over? Well, with the upgraded Titan cameraman now on the battlefield, the Alliance gained an edge needed to win the war. But remember, the toilets always come back bigger and stronger. And that's because of the scientist Skibbity Toilet. Wait, they added a scientist toilet? He's actually one of the most important characters in the series. He's responsible for all the technology and weapons that the toilets have. He created the parasite that can infect the Alliance members. Without him, they wouldn't have the Titan Speaker Man fighting for them. Bro, you just told me that the upgraded cameraman was the strongest. Couldn't he just cook up the infected Speaker Man? <laughs> well, listen, the scientist toilet is the smartest in all of the Skibbity Toilet universe. So he was able to upgrade the Titan Speaker Man, which gave him even more weapons and abilities. But also the urge to go on the offense. He then went on a rampage, destroying every Alliance member. But then the upgraded Titan cameraman showed up. So what, they're gonna 1v1 like Mortal Kombat? Well, the Titan cameraman stared at the speaker man and wagged his finger, no more, which pissed him off. So he started to fire his railgun right at the cameraman, but he was too strong. So G-Man and a Strider Skibbity Toilet showed up to help, but even all three were no match. The Titan cameraman got the Titan speaker man down to his knees. That's when suddenly a TV woman showed up and disinfected him. Bro, my boy speaker man is free. So the Skibbity Toilet War is almost over. So it's not endless. Well, listen, right after the Titan speaker man was disinfected, he looked around confused, but that turned into anger quickly. He finally realized all the damage he had caused and was filled with regret. The Skibbity Toilets basically made him into a slave, and the more and more he realized that, 
He couldn't hold back. So something snapped inside of him. Yeah, he went on a rampage destroying every skibbity toilet in sight. But the Titans aren't even the biggest threat now. Like, what are they gonna add, a cosmic entity? No, listen, the Alliance sent a spy behind enemy lines. They were monitoring G-Man when they saw something they weren't supposed to. An Astro Toilet had become increasingly annoyed that the Skibbity Toilets had lost their infected Titan, but also lost several battles in a row. It blamed it all on G-Man, so it created a plan to assassinate him. Dude, they can't kill off G-Man. Well, when the Astro Toilet confronted G-Man, he let him know all his frustrations. G-Man was not happy and started to get angry, but getting him angry was part of the Astro Toilet's plan. Another Astro Toilet showed up behind him and grabbed his head. He then took out a spinning sword that was attached to his arm. He was going to stab him right in the head, but suddenly the scientist Skibbity Toilet showed up and blew off his arm, saving G-Man. The Skippity Toilet just got bigger. What do you mean it's already big? Well, when you get billions of views in just a matter of months, you get wiki pages, fan-made animations, but even fan-made games. One of the most popular games on Roblox right now is called Toilet Tower Defense. Wait, wait, I'm pretty sure the creator made them take that down. Yeah, it did, but fans are saying they're not sure why. They said all his models are pre-made and that all his other assets come from different people. But the key to it getting bigger is because of content creators. When the rebellion on G-Man failed, it brought the toilets closer together than ever before. But the Alliance thought there was trouble in paradise for the Skibbity Toilets. There was a group of cameramen and speakermen hanging out in a city that they had just captured. They were relaxed and having fun when suddenly an explosion happened. An army of Skibbity Toilets started rushing towards them. A black cloud appeared in the sky. They all thought the Titan TV man was coming to save them. But it wasn't. It was the scientist Skibbity Toilet. Wait, so he bamboozled them? Yeah, but that's not it. He also created several upgrades, including a new toilet. A geeky Jesus Skibbity Toilet. Look. Oh wait, why does it look like Charlie? Skibbity Toilet's about to give us exactly what we want. Dude, are they coming to Netflix? No, listen. After the scientists upgraded the Toilet Army, they unleashed chaos on an Alliance stronghold. Bro, what are you yapping about? Let me finish. The first toilet that G-Man sent in was a giant vacuum toilet. It was destroying everything in its path. Cameramen, speakermen, but even small skibbity toilets were being sucked up into its oven that has buzz saws. It seemed like it was easily going to defeat the Alliance army, but- Someone always saves the day. Uh, yeah. Titan speaker man and cameraman flew into action. The Titan cameraman took out his hammer and smash the vacuum toilet's head. He then stared at G-Man like he was ready to mess him up. Normally, G-Man would retreat with a frustrated look on his face, but this time, something different happened. What, like he fought back? No, G-Man still retreated, but he had a creepy smile on his face. He left behind a couple upgraded toilets in the battle. After all the toilets were destroyed, the Titan cameraman looked at the POV cameraman and gave him a thumbs up, which makes the Titan speaker man angry. Why? They just won. Well, when the Titan speaker man got infected, it's because he had his guard down when he was looking at the POV cameraman. So he got mad because he didn't want it to happen again. They both focused up and flew off after G-Man. So everything we knew about Skibbity Toilet is wrong. What do you mean? Well, listen, after the Titans destroyed G-Man's army, they chased after him, but before they flew off, there was a warning. During the battle, there was a sign that had a secret message on it. Wait, what did it say? It said trap. Oh, uh, that's why G-Man was smiling. Well, G-Man did lead them to a large group of skibbity toilets, including the scientists. But when the Titans showed up, everyone but G-Man retreated. G-Man was left to battle the Titans all on his own. This obviously made him angry, so he started firing his lasers at the Titans. But the Titans were unfazed and began to fight back. The Titan speaker man jumped on his head and stabbed his eyes with his knives. Then Titan cameraman cooked him up with fire. Bro, they did G-Man dirty. Oh, well, listen, this is when we learn why the sign said trap. After they defeated G-Man, they noticed something super strange. There was a different skibbity toilet inside G-Man's head. It was a decoy for what happened next. The real one showed up. No, a group of giant skibbity bombs fell from the sky right on top of Titan Cameraman. The explosion was so big that it blew off one of his arms and badly damaged the rest of his armor. He's not going to be able to fight anymore. 
We know this because instead of giving a thumbs up to the POV cameraman, he gave a thumbs down. But listen to this. When a Titan gets seriously injured, it's a sign that a new and improved character is on its way. Who is even left? There's a theory that it's either upgraded Titan TV man or the secret agent. 